Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 8th, could be the 9th, the 10th, could be next week, you know, because the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up, what kind of message do I have to do deliver today. You know, the first thing I see is the Nine of Cups, which is fantastic. Okay, that means things are looking up. Things are looking up, or deep fulfillment is coming, a wish is being fulfilled, something like that with the Nine of Cups. Um, there could be a recovery as well, a recovery of something lost with the Nine of Cups. It's like, and it is an opportunity for happiness, right? The Nine of Cups, like you have it all. Um, hmm, Nine of Cups, almost Ten of Cups, complete, ha very close to happiness. There could be, there could also be a bond that is deepening with the Nine of Cups. So, you know, it's really close to to being right where it needs to be. Or if you're single and uh, you know you're completely single, a a wish could be being granted with that Nine of Cups, where they're bringing you a real love soon. You know, a real love. It's like, here it is. Because usually the Nine of Cups and some of the decks, the, the guy or the person that is, ha, is holding one of them, you know, goes from the eight to the nine, which is goes from dissatisfaction right into love. So that it's like, yeah, there's an opportunity. It's like you go from a dissatisfying situation right into love. So it's falling something like that right into love. Singles will be meeting a real love soon by the looks of things. If you are in a couple relationship, things could be getting better. Or, like I said, from the Eight of Cups, you know, leaving a dissatisfying situation in search for love. It could go so many ways. But the Nine of Cups is about um, a wish being fulfilled. Wish fulfillment and happiness. Page of Swords reversed. So, Page of Swords reversed. Getting caught off guard. Somebody's getting caught off guard. There could be a spy. Somebody could be watching. Okay, this could be somebody watching. This is a. This could be a secret admirer. It could be. Could be a stalker. Could go either way. Let's see what we get for the next card. Ooh. Eight of Swords. Well, wow. somebody here that is reevaluating. Probably a little pissed off. This person looks a little pissed off of some sort. Not very happy, honestly. This person doesn't look very happy. Okay. They got a, like a nasty look on their face. If that will zoom. So it looks to me as though we have somebody here that's not very happy. They're they're thinking, 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 mental conflict, right? Trapped, stuck, choosing to be stuck, choosing to let their mind get the best of them by the looks of things. We got both swords here. This person looks upset. I think we have somebody here that is upset. Maybe they made a, a wrong decision or something like that. They can't speak. There's a lack of... And they're not speaking. They're not communicating. You notice this person can speak. They're refusing to see something. Refusing to open their eyes. Not speaking. There's a lack of communication. There could be a misunderstanding here. Interesting. Five of Cups reversed. Definitely ex regrets. We have somebody here that is regretting. Now this is being all tied up. This could have to do with jail as well, um, or confinement of some sort. But this is seeing another opportunity. Five of Cups reversed. Hoping for a reunion, perhaps. There's some sort of deep depression here. Grieving, grieving. Maybe wanting forgiveness. Now, this person seems to be tied up or in handcuffs or something like that. Some I don't know if this has to do with jail or what this person is. And they could be in their own little prison. Being in your mind is a is like their own prison. Somebody may be in their own prison, their own thoughts, their own prison, their own mind prison. 
wishing for something. Nine of Cups is wishing, hoping for forgiveness, maybe. I don't know. They've, there's been some sort of deep depression here. There is a depression, sadness. Eight of Cups reversed. Interesting. Somebody's pretending to be happy. They're shallow and superficial. There could be an apology coming. Somebody may be apologizing. They're thinking about it for sure. This person is upset. Could be very immature. Huh. Definitely got some mind games going on here. Page of Cups reversed. Now the Page of Cups reversed is somebody's bubble being burst. Shattered dreams, unrequited love. Somebody is feeling unloved or they're feeling really sad, emotional over a lost love or a lost opportunity for love. Definitely some sadness here and probably some anger too. They may want to go back. They probably, you know, maybe they're wishing. The Nine of Cups is a wish card. Somebody may be wishing that they could go back, hoping that they could go back. Um, because this is like going back, wanting to come back. Somebody might want to come back. Maybe they want to apologize. They're sad. They have some sort, sort of regrets. That's what the Five of Cups reversed is. And this is just like a hmm... Somebody is, is not honoring their own truth. They're, be, they're pretending. And they're, it's like, I don't understand. It's like they're choosing to stay in their own little prison, their mind prison, whatever. There's a lack of love here, a lack of uh, reciprocation. Somebody's not reciprocating. They're not communicating. So they're not communicating because they're trapped in their head. But they're grieving. They're grieving. Death. Death is about grieving. Oh, son of a gun. Imagine that. So death, if what, hap what is the grieving process? What do you grieve from? A death. Okay. So we do have a death. Something has ended. Something has ended or it's about to end. And it's like they, somebody's hoping for forgiveness. They're wishing they could go back. It's sad. It is definitely sad. So there's been some sort of ending, a transition of some sort. But this is this is um, a new beginning is coming. Endings lead to new beginnings. Maybe there's been some sort of destruction or something has happened that caused something to end. And it was very emotional. Somebody is feeling it, put it that way. They're feeling, and you think about the grieving process. We're going to talk about the grieving process on my new channel. But anyway, we are. Which, anyway, but the grieving process, one of them is anger, okay, and the next is tears, okay, or it might start with tears and then it goes to anger, you know, so we definitely have some tears, we have, we have some anger, we have, we have some animosity, there's, there's mixed feelings here, there is, there's mixed feelings over this ending, so there's an ending here that is being definitely thought about, we have somebody here that is thinking about this ending, this, this ending, and they're thinking about it a lot, and it hurts. This is major. It's happened suddenly. This was a sudden ending that you didn't see coming. This is a major disruption. It's a life change. It's a shock. And, and part of the grieving process is the first one is shock. So the first step is shock. So there's an element of shock here. So somebody is going to feel the shock. They're going to feel the... It's a surprise. It's going to be quite surprising. Uh, it's like somebody is, is going to be hitting the ground or something like that happens very suddenly. I'm, I'm not, I, I don't know if, if what's happening here, but it looks like it's very painful. There's a painful disruption. There could be an accident. Um, it happens very suddenly out of the blue, out of the blue, things start to crumble and things fall apart. And they fall apart fast. And I'm not sure if it has to do with with uh, uh, it looks like somebody got thrown out or they're getting thrown out. you know this is a person up there. I gotta look a little bit closer. There isn't nobody up there. I thought there was though. That's a misunderstanding. 
There isn't nobody up there, but I thought there was. Interesting. Those words just came out of my mouth. So I'm not, I remember I said there might be a misunderstanding here that causes a major disruption in a foundation. Crazy. Crazy. So there's some sort of misunderstanding by the looks of things that causes some sort of uh, uproar. Okay. Could be chaos. Whatever. Something. Fireworks. There's definitely going to be some fireworks. Shit is about to uh, explode. Somebody is going to explode by the looks of things. This is emotional. It's going to be an emotional time. Let's put that back in there. Um, page of Wands reversed. Look at three pages reversed. Not good. There's gossip. People button their nose in. There is. We got some gossip here. People acting like children instead of adults. Uh, there's lack of communication. There's, uh, there's some sort of bad news here. We got somebody here that um, something has failed to, it's failed to launch. Think about the tower, okay? It is. It's failed to launch. It's fa failed to get off the ground. It's a, it's like a, it's like a relationship of some sort. It has failed to grow or something like that. It's ended abruptly. There's been a, some sort, or there's going to be an abrupt ending. Okay, something's gonna happen suddenly, and it's like something, some something suddenly goes down. Somebody gets some bad news. There's a setback. We have somebody here that is a procrastinator. This person makes excuses. They do. They make excuses. They don't follow through. Very, very immature. Maybe they're not emotionally available. Maybe they, they uh, have uh, a few, a few issues going on. Anyhow, um, hmm. Bad news. Four of Pentacles reversed. Now, this is about opening up. Time to relax. Let go of fear. It's, let go. It's time, to get, it's time to open up. It's time to let go. Somebody is about to open up. But there's been some sort of fear. A lack of emotion. A lack of reciprocation. Somebody hasn't been communicating. They haven't been opening their heart. They've been, they've been making excuses. Hiding something like that but this is opening up letting go letting go somebody is letting go five of wands reversed <laughs> there's been some sort of competition it's been a competition right a competition of you know will who's the strongest here who's the boss right it's been a big competition But we have somebody here that is exhausted and fed up. They are fed up. And they may just want peace. They just want this to end. Okay? So we got somebody here who doesn't want to fight. They don't wanna they don't wanna they don't wanna do this anymore. We do have an ending here with that death card. It's a major one. It is a big ending. Somebody sees another opportunity. It's like they see it. It's they've been in a, a place where there's been a lack of love. There's been a lack of content. There's been some sort of um, loneliness by the looks of things. And it's like now this that's the hand of God. Okay, it's like now God or a higher power is saying here. I got this big offer for you. Remember I said the Ace of Cups with the Nine of Cups. You see, there's a hand holding a cup. I did, I did say that. Okay, so now it's like there's there's this offer of love. Okay, it's like I got this big offer for you, and and it's instead of missing it, it's easy to see. It's like I okay, I want it, I want it. So um, it's heaven sent. It's like it's a, it's a gift from heaven. It's it is. So it's like there's somebody is being given a gift. A gift of love oh, they are and it's after something has ended after they didn't get reciprocation after they weren't loved but 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 there's a, there's some sort of fear here there's fear of opening up there's fear of giving heart away fear of, of um, stepping outside of a comfort zone there's fear of, of um, getting her again so we have somebody here that uh, has a new opportunity for love. They do. 
There is a new opportunity for love here. But, or there's an opportunity for a relationship to step it up to the next level. But there's fear. There's fear in the way. There is some sort of fear in the way. And there's like, and, and with that eight of, somebody's been pretending. With the eight of cups reversed, they pretend, but somebody has been pretending to be happy. Or they're superficial, very superficial. They've been staying put. They've been avoiding. They've been avoiding something. Refusing to move on. Refusing to move on from a previous ending. Hmm. Very stubborn energy here because I wanted to say let bygones be bygones. So somebody needs to just let bygones be bygones. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here. It's like this is a gift are you just going to look at it or are you going to take it? It looks to me as though we have somebody here that, that sees this big opportunity. It's big. It's a big opportunity for love. It's a big opportunity for a new beginning. It is. There's a new start in love here that is being offered. It's being offered after something has... There's been some sort of chaos or there's been some sort of upheaval. There may have been a fight, okay? Maybe there's been a fight with the tower. There be a fight or with this five of wands. There's been a fight. Somebody wasn't communicating. They may have been trying to prove something to somebody. Prove who was, you know, the boss or something like that. And now they're grieving. They're grieving over the ending. They're grieving over the loss. They are. There's grieving here. There is. This person is thinking, 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 thinking. Definitely thinking, thinking. I want that love. I want that love. I want that love. They're thinking that. They are. A seven of swords reverse getting caught. I don't know if somebody's been cheating or what. Or something. Somebody is getting caught. If they somebody has gotten caught or they're getting caught. I don't know if they're getting what they're getting caught doing, but they're getting caught. The truth is coming out. Maybe they're you know, what are they getting caught doing? Playing games? I mean this is a freaking game. Somebody gets caught at their own game. Hmm. Hero font reverse. That's lack of commitment. We got somebody here that has a hard time doing the right thing. They have a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure, right? We may have somebody here that is disgraced. They're not very spiritual. Or they're fear. They have fear of being disgraced. disgraced. We have a relationship that is no longer on the same page. And somebody is pretending that they are happy in that relationship. It's time for it to end. Maybe they've been cheating. Because they don't want to leave that relationship. They don't want to leave that relationship because they don't want to cause upheaval. They don't want to deal with the, with the chaos. They don't want to deal with the legal system. They don't want to lose financially. They're holding on for the stability of it. They're holding on for the money. Somebody is. They're not listening to their gut. They're not following their gut. And this higher power says, I got this opportunity for you. Why are you throwing it away? I got this opportunity for love. Why are you throwing it, throwing it away? Why are you pretending you are happy when you want this opportunity for love? Why don't you face your fears and follow your heart? So we have somebody here that is trapped in a situation that they don't want to be in. But the fear of being disgraced by society and their family and their friends is keeping them in this unhappy situation. There's an opportunity to end it and walk away. Think about that Nine of Cups at the beginning. 
you walk away right into love. Good luck.